He threw his son on the road, but what the bear did was amazing. The father threw his son off the rails, but what the bear did was amazing, an amazing story about how a bear stole a child right in front of his father, thus saving the child from death. Alexa and Nastia got married when they were both 17 years old, which caused all the villagers to attend their wedding ceremony. Everyone was amazed by the great love story that brought together the two who got married. A month after the two got married, Nastia found out that she was pregnant, and then she and her husband were very happy and started preparing to welcome their first child. They set aside a small room for the new boy, brought in a wardrobe and a small bed, and bought clothes and toys to welcome him. The couple not only planned to have one child, they wanted more because, as usual, the village families must have many children. When it was time for Nastia to give birth, Alex called his friend to take care of his wife to the hospital, but he was told that his car had broken down. Then, the young man became very nervous and immediately called the ambulance. The ambulance arrived so late that Nastia completely collapsed while her husband kept hugging her and trying to calm her down. When the ambulance finally arrived, the young woman had already been taken to the hospital and immediately transferred to the maternity ward. The young man waited anxiously, and after a few moments, a nurse came out and told him that his wife would not be able to give birth naturally and she would need surgery, which made him more worried. Five hours after the operation, the doctor came out with a pale face and told the husband that his wife had died in the operating room, but the little boy survived at the last minute. Alexei was shocked when he heard what the doctor said and started screaming with all his might. He couldn't imagine that his wife, whom he loved and with whom he had dreamed of spending his entire life, was gone forever and would not return. He ran to the operating room where his baby was crying. The young man initially didn't want to see his son, who was in good health because he considered him the cause of the death of the love of his life, and he refused to hold him at first. However, the nurses tried to calm him down and told him that the boy needed help. When the doctor noticed that the father was in a difficult psychological state, he asked the nurses not to give him the son because he might hurt him. He then told Alexei that he could go home and come back after a week to take the child. Alexei wasn't thinking about the little boy at all. When they called him from the hospital to pick up his son, he told them that he didn't want to see him and that they should get rid of him. When Nastia's grandmother, Natasha Ivanova, found out what had happened to her grandson, she went to the hospital and brought him to live with her in her house. She took care of him and provided everything he needed. Six months passed and the child's father did not appear, so she completely ignored him and did not acknowledge the child from across. Grandma tried to call him and ask him to see his little one and hold him in his hands because he needed him, but he didn't speak to her and ignored her each time. One day, the grandmother decided to visit Alexei. She took her grandson in her arms and went to his house, but he wasn't there. When she asked about him, one of the neighbors told her that he always went near the woods by the railroad track and sat there. The grandmother immediately went to the railway to find her granddaughter's husband. When she arrived, she found the young man sitting on the rail with a bottle of wine in his hand, completely drunk. The grandmother approached him and tried to talk to him, but he was almost unconscious and refused to speak. Despite placing their child on his chest, he didn't seem to care. The grandmother lost hope and decided to return to her house. However, at that moment, she noticed a teddy bear stuck on the train tracks as a train approached rapidly. She quickly put her grandson on the ground and ran to remove the teddy bear from the railway. In the nick of time, the train nearly hit her. Grandma was terrified, but she rejoiced when she realized she had managed to save the little bear. Meanwhile, a large bear appeared, presumably the mother of the little bear. It approached the grandmother, so she left the teddy bear and went back to carry her grandson. She quickly ran away from the area, fearing that the ferocious bear would attack her. Grandma walked, constantly looking back because the bear and her cub were following her. She didn't understand what they wanted from her since they showed no intention to harm her. Otherwise, they would have rushed to catch up with her. Grandma thought they might want to thank her for what she had done, but they couldn't find a way to express it. The bear and her cub would come every day and sit in front of Grandma's house for a while before leaving. 
Eventually, Natasha realized that the two animals were peaceful and wanted friendship with her. She started offering them food and water. She approached them and gently touched them, and her two-year-old grandson played with the little bear. One day, Father Alexei came to the grandmother's house and told her that he wanted to take his baby. He had decided to remarry and wanted to rebuild his life. The news pleased the grandmother very much, and she gave the baby to his father and gave him clothes and things. Then she said goodbye to him with tears in her eyes. The grandmother went to visit her grandson every day, and she was very happy that his father had taken care of him. He was also planning to marry a young woman she had recently met named Olga. Days passed, and the bear and the little cub did not go to visit Natasha Ivanovich's house, which made the grandmother think that they had moved to live somewhere else. But one day, while the grandmother was sitting in the yard of the house, she saw the bear and the baby approaching her house, and they smiled. She eagerly awaited their arrival, and when they got to her, she noticed that the mother bear had something in her mouth. Yes, it was a little boy. And when the bear placed him on the ground, the grandmother approached him and there she was dumbfounded. The child was her grandson, whom she had left days ago with his father. He was calm but exhausted by the way the bear had carried him into the house. After the grandmother reassured herself about her grandson's condition, she immediately picked him up and went to the police to tell them what had happened. And when the police began to investigate the incident, they discovered that the father, Alexei, suddenly remembered his ex-wife and got himself drunk. He then carried his son into his arms and headed for the railway. He put him on the iron bars and kept drinking alcohol. Then he lost consciousness and fell asleep on the edge of the track, while his son sat on the tracks. When the express train approached, the bear intervened and threw the boy away at the last moment. Then, the bear immediately took him to his grandmother's house and left his father sleeping there. The bear returned the favor to the grandmother, as she had saved her son months ago, and now the bear saved her grandson from certain death after his drunken father overlooked him. The police warned Alexei that custody of his son would be taken away from him if he neglected him in the future. But the father regretted what had happened and promised them that it would not happen again. He decided to marry his girlfriend Olga right away, and they took care of the little boy all the time. Therefore, Alexei decided to stop drinking alcohol completely and began to devote all his time to his son, who became very loved and attached to him. On her part, the bear and her little one returned to visit grandmother Natasha Ivanova at her house. She started spending most of her time at her house, and grandma started taking her grandson to her house to play with her wonderful friends. For a mother, the most heartbreaking or desperate thing is when the child is sick and she has nothing to do. A young man received a call from a friend before, saying that he saw two dogs on the street, and they were lying on the ground without moving. After hearing this, the pet-loving boy hurried over. At this time, the mother dog and the puppy were cuddling tightly together, and the mother dog looked very weak, and there seemed to be some wounds on her body, and her mental state was quite poor, as if she hadn't eaten for a long time. But despite this, the mother dog still hugged her cub tightly, and looked at the boy pitifully, as if she was asking for help, begging him to save her cub. It turned out that the exhausted mother dog no longer had the energy to look for food, and it didn't matter if she didn't eat by herself, but when she thought that her child was starving to death, the mother dog felt sad and even shed tears in worry. In this way, the mother dog looked at the boy with tears in her eyes, while hugging the dog tightly in her arms to keep the child warmer. Seeing this, the boy really couldn't bear it. He absolutely couldn't let the mother and son wait for the end of their lives like this, so he stepped forward and gently stroked the mother dog, letting him know that he would definitely rescue them. Slowly, the mother dog's tears gradually stopped, because she felt the boy's kindness. Afterwards, the boy quickly sent the mother and child to the pet hospital. Fortunately, the mother dog's injury was not serious. The pet doctor quickly helped it deal with it, and the rest can rest quietly. But the puppy on the other side, because it is too young and has not eaten for too long, is already weaker than its mother at this time, and its body urgently needs to replenish a lot of energy. For this reason, the boy hurriedly brought food, 
let the mother and son have a full meal first, and also made a special recipe for the puppy under the doctor's suggestion. Now the little dog has gotten better little by little, and its spirit has become much stronger. Because of the young man's caring care, the mother dog is no longer lying on the ground dying like before. It is a big difference from before. The mother and son are very lively now, and they are very close to every human being who approaches them, and they often lick the boy with their tongues. Since they were adopted by the boy, they have lived happily in the boy's house. There is a backyard in the boy's house, which gives them a lot of space for activities, and also makes the puppy's lively personality more lively. Especially the little dog, who is very courageous now, is not afraid of people at all. When people approach it, it will always go around the human being very enthusiastically, and from time to time it will bite the trouser legs of the human being in a funny way, which is so cute. The mother dog has been playing with the puppy all the time, just watching the puppy make a fuss, but when the puppy goes too far, the mother dog will also step forward to dissuade it and let it be more honest. In addition, as the spirit of the dog mother is getting better and better, all the injuries on her body have also healed. Under the training of the young man, she has learned skills such as shaking hands, and the relationship between the master and the servant is very close. What's even more amazing is that sometimes the mother dog will look in the direction of the boy in a daze, just do nothing, stare at the boy, and even grin. Many netizens who have read this story said that the dog mother is grateful and thankful that she has met such a kind benefactor. Otherwise, the end of the mother and son is beyond imagination. And similar stories happened in China. Some time ago, Xiao Wang from the animal rescue station also received a call saying that there was a dog in need of help. After receiving the call, Xiao Wang quickly put down his work and rushed over on his motorcycle. But when he arrived at the destination, he was very shocked by the scene in front of him, because the destination was a large piece of garbage, and Xiao Wang was asked to search for the puppy in this piece of garbage. He didn't know how long it would take to find the puppy. So the helpless Xiao Wang could only stand on a relatively low wall next to him, standing on a high place, to see where the puppy was. In the place where you can see, there are bags of garbage next to each other, so dense that your eyes are tired, but Xiao Wang has never given up. After all, the puppy is a living life, and he must not sit idly by. He wants to save the little dog. Finally, Xiao Wang climbed to the high place again, saw a small moving black dot, and hurried over. Xiao Wang was glad that the puppy was moving. If not, would he be able to find the puppy? I'm afraid even Xiao Wang himself is not sure. If the puppy is buried next to a piece of garbage, it will be easily ignored by Xiao Wang. The puppy that was discovered at this time seemed to be a little excited, wagging its tail all the time, and Xiao Wang's heart was also touched. This dog seemed to be eager for someone to rescue it. Xiao Wang hurriedly handed the dog food he brought to the puppy, but perhaps he had never eaten such delicious food, and the puppy was not used to it, and he didn't accept Xiao Wang's kindness. At this moment, Xiao Wang saw that the dog's hair was deeply scarred, and even the hair was sparse. It must have suffered a lot. Maybe the dogs are not short of food in this dump, because there is a lot of domestic waste here. But are these foods edible? For such a small dog, eating these foods will easily get sick, coupled with a large amount of garbage fermented together, the taste is unimaginable even for us humans. And the little dog eats this garbage all day long, and it is really incredible that it can persist until now. Later, Xiao Wang took the dog out of the garbage dump, put it on a clean roadside, and carefully examined the dog's body. He found that there were not only bugs on the dog's body, but also scars on its back, but the scars had begun to scab. Judging from the periphery of the wound and the color of its hair, the wound had definitely not been treated. In other words, such a serious wound, the little dog had to carry it abruptly. Therefore, for such a small dog in such a large garbage dump, not only food is a problem, but even life safety cannot be guaranteed. After comforting the dog a little, Xiao Wang picked up the dog and took it home. First of all, take out clean water and let the dog drink more, 
so as to relieve the hunger and restore some strength. At the same time, Xiao Wang also took out some disinfectant to disinfect the wound on his back. Although the scab had scabbed over, Xiao Wang helped him clean it up. Seeing the dog's well-behaved appearance, Xiao Wang felt emotional in his heart. It is really unimaginable for such a small dog in such a big garbage dump, what kind of darkness it has experienced. In order to further clean the dog, Xiao Wang poured warm water into the basin, put the dog in it, and gently washed the dog's body. Living in the garbage dump for so long, the dog's body is really smelly, all kinds of dirty things on its body are mixed together, the smell even Xiao Wang doesn't want to smell. Surprisingly, when Xiao Wang put the water on the dog, the puppy started to move. It may be because he has never taken a bath before, and he is particularly repulsive in the water, but Xiao Wang keeps holding it, and keeps stroking and talking to calm the dog down. In this way, the well-behaved dog finally realized that humans were helping it, and completely let go of its guard. And after this bath, the puppy is about to usher in a new life, because it has met a kind owner, and I believe it will be under the care of the owner. It will be a very happy life. Thank you.